It's a very interesting static model, isn't it? You could say, oh, this, that, this, but it's not a static model, clearly. And although the three, I think they're the same size, <laughs> three same size, it's the idea of ne you don't necessarily give equal attention to each of these in equal measure every time. And so there's some nuances around that and some pitfalls, I think, that we fall into as facilitators. And you can slice that from a lot of different perspectives, but I thought we'd go with an easy way and say, let's think about the perspective of, of experience with facilitation. So when you think about new facilitators, people who are new to the experience of either delivering a training product or you know, working with a group in that way, where do you think new facilitators tend to maybe overly focus? I and it, right? So the I and the it, right? And that's what I see a lot, the I and the it kind of in concert. So think about it with the I. A little bit of performance anxiety, want to make sure you do a good job, you know, especially if your boss or your colleagues are in the room, you want to make sure that it shows that you know, and you want to have personal goals probably that you're trying to achieve. So, you know, you're concerned about your own performance. At the end of the workshop, you pick up those evaluations, your eyes go straight to the section on the instructor. <laughs> right? I know, I know you do it. Okay? So it's all about me. And then the it comes in because I'm so concerned about the content. Do I know the material well enough? Am I going to remember things? Am I going to click the buttons in the right way? And so the I and the it kind of coerce to get us kind of overly focused there. And haven't you seen something like this? Someone is up there facilitating, and next thing you know, they're kind of like, they're talking to their slide, and they're really expounding on the points, and they're getting into, they're really thinking about it, and they're sharing their, so it's like, oh, oh yeah, there's a group here too. You know, they get so focused in on the I and the it that it's almost like the group doesn't exist anymore. So the group could be checked out, they could be confused. It, okay, so that's a very common pitfall. So as you're a new facilitator or new to something, keep the three frames in reference. Okay. What about seasoned facilitators? Where do you think some of their blind spots might be or be overly focused on? Also could be the I. A little bit of the we. A little bit. Yeah, there's some interesting combinations that I think tend to happen. And I've found myself falling into these traps of two. So the first one I'll talk about is the we. Some of you said the we. Sometimes I'm just so into this group process, right? I am so wanting this group to love this and to get every shred of every moment and every, and I'm processing the group's process. The next thing you know, what's happened? Five it's five o'clock, right? You're still on Start With Heart or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we sometimes compromise the content because we just get a little too far into managing the group dynamic. Or if there's issues and concerns coming up with the group, we kind of, we just don't manage that part well enough to be able to get back on track. And this doesn't just happen in training programs. I think we've all been in facilitation environments where you know, we get too much into the group's process. There's probably ways to manage that so that you're still accomplishing your goals or renegotiating your goals. You know, what, do we have a different outcome there? Do we need to shift to a different thing? So the we and the it, sometimes we tend to um, impact one another, and then we get off track a little bit. And I think sometimes, too, I heard many of you say the I. And how does that show up? Lots of ways. We get so into our own experience of being this wonderful guide, right, and into our own awesome stories. And next thing we know, it's, you know, all about us. And we never really intended it to be that way. And we kind of slip into that. You know, we get so caught up that, that we lose sight of what's happening with the group or we have missed the point on some of the content. Okay, so as we think about the I, the we, and the it, the idea is have it be a, a, a dynamic model where the little twirly things are happening. And I, I use the lens analogy a lot with this, you know, so sometimes you might want to focus in stronger on one rather than the other because that's what's needed, but not to the exclusion. So, you know, when you have a camera, you can sort of lens in or zoom in, but you can still see sort of the fuzziness. So that's one way. You want to avoid being so drilled in that you can't see anything else and it's like this. And so that analogy works, but I was thinking about this last night, I'm like, what's well, sort of a juggling analogy you could use here too? It's like three balls in the air a little bit. And I'm, I'm, I should have learned how to juggle, because it would have been really entertaining right now for me to demonstrate it for you. I don't know how to juggle. That'll be my to-do list. I'm sure some of you do. But when I watch people juggle, one of the things that I notice is, you know, they're not looking at each ball, like throwing this ball, watching it, and coming all the way here, right? Where, where are jugglers' eyes usually? It's kind of like right here. So a ball's going up and they're looking at that, right? And they're not overly looking at that, it's there. Still sort of see the other two balls. You can feel the other two balls, right? So there's always, uh, there's always motion and you're always touching all of these three points, but at one point in time, you gotta be looking at one. 
So when you think about that juggling or the, the focusing, I think that as we challenge our own selves to step up to the incredible opportunities and possibilities, as Joseph said this morning, is to think about how we are the conduit for that and how can we kind of up our own uh, facilitation game. Thank you very much.